Hello there, my name is Ismas and today we're going to be looking at how to shoot, direct and edit a green screen fight uh, using Premiere Pro and uh, just a simple green screen. So let's switch uh, to that and see how. So I have a small setup in my room uh, with a green screen and uh, simple lights and, and a camera. Uh, so this is what I managed to do with that. I can see I'm just shooting by myself. I didn't really have an actor uh, to make sure that uh, there is no audio in the background. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have an actor to shoot with, uh, so I did a very simple uh, shoot uh, with different angles, and uh, this is what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, the first thing you want to do is uh, to get the timing right if you want to shoot something like this in different angles or in different takes. So what I did is, uh, first of all, I recorded uh, an audio an audio track of uh, all the sequence of all the actions we are going to be making. And let me just play. One, two, three, four, punch. One, two, three, four, punch. One, two, three, four, punch. And because in a fight sequence like this, you want to get the timing right. And uh, uh, since we're going to have multiple angles uh, and uh, with a single camera, uh, you're going to shoot, you want to shoot uh, the same, uh, you, you want to have the same marks, you, the same actions at the same time. So let me just show you the footage. The original footage there. You can see this is a very simple setup. And uh, what I did is uh, I used audacity at uh, first record uh, the audio uh, the action i was going to make just uh, three two one action then one two three four punch one two and then i did that uh, so I, I played that back on my laptop just so to have the audio playback and uh, kind of alert me as the actor on uh, what to do next because you don't want to you don't want your actor to just are remember the actions because it might be a bit harder to get the uh, the timing right. So if you have that uh, in the background playing, are you, uh, if you have a director, you might be tempted uh, to have them uh, say the actions in different texts, but uh, they might still get the timing wrong. So it's better to record uh, the audio first and then have it play back uh, just to be guaranteed that uh, the timing is always, is always going to be the same timing uh, because if you get the timing wrong it's going to be very difficult for you to fix to fix that in the, uh, in the editing sequences so you can see in all the different texts i had yeah so i just know what actions to make uh, in the different uh, sequences so yeah so then just see let me just show you how I layered them up. I'll just create a new sequence here from uh, this, I think this action. Just drag this into a new sequence. And uh, the first thing I wanted to do, I have to do is uh, also add my audio track down there. And I can get this, first remove this. I, I, was, I was just getting that uh, to get the right settings for the sequence. One, two, action. So I know my action starts around here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now I can go through all the, the footages, all the footage that I want to use and find that mark. Punch. And then I just drag the video only. Punch. One, two, three, four. Punch. And then I find uh, the second uh, video I want to use. One, two, three, four. Can hit I uh, to set an I think uh, it's a in mark and then I just drag that. Now, punch. one, two, three, four. Punch. Now, if I reduce the opacity of this layer, you can see punch. One, two, three, four. Punch. One, two, you can see three, how, four. You can see how the timing is nearly is perfect this can be very hard to do without uh, that audio track so that's why i had to do that and uh, you can also have different angles you just have to find their position uh, set them Unmute this and I reduce the opacity on this layer. 
punch one two three four punch you can see that all the layers that i have all the uh, all the clips that i have uh, have the same timing uh, just because i have this uh, they're all using the same audio track and also it also helps me to line up the uh, the different clips are uh, very uh, nicely let me get this second shot already marked it one two. i just have to reduce the opacity one two three four punch you can one. see how one two three four punch yeah so and uh, that's how and after that you can add all the effects you want uh, backgrounds are uh, king and one two three four punch one two three four punch one two three four punch and uh yeah so that's it i uh, I hope you learned something from this and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe, like and uh, share whatever you see. Yeah, thank you.